Now, what, what do you think about the um the Damian Maya against Ben Askren fight? That's a fight that that nobody's be, talking about. That shit gonna be boring. I'm gonna watch it, but I should go. Who do you think is gonna win? Um, I haven't really thought about it too much, but I really thought about it too much because I'm not really that interested in it. Like, I don't know. I forgot. Oh, this nigga, like... this this dude, Masvidal, shut Ben Askren's whole hype train the <laughs> fuck down, bro. But if I had to choose a dude, I'm gonna lean a little bit more towards the jujitsu side always. So oh, I'm gonna course. go with Maya just because. Ben Askren likes to hold people. That's all he does. He just likes to hold you in in a, like one spot. You gonna hold Maya down like that? He gonna he's gonna settle into a position and then just find a way to grab a limb. That's what I feel like. Yeah, like, and this is the people that argument that people make all the time. This is the old fashioned grappler uh, wrestler versus jujitsu guy, right? Mm-hmm. But this is a thing that they don't understand about Ben Askren. When you say this is the grappler against the jujitsu guy against a person like Damian Maya. Ben Askren is not like the um, the old school real grapplers you can say, um, as in like the like the, for instance the Godfather of Ground and Pound, uh, Mark Coleman, for instance. He will take mm-hmm. his opponents to the ground and he will wrestle, but he's not gonna lay on your back. He's gonna beat the shit out of you. So it's it's like a Mark Coleman or a Tito Ortiz, like all that Ground and Pound. Ben Askren does not do that, so he's not actually like. What he's going to do, try to submit Damian Maia. So I feel like there's no possibility to have Damian Maia in danger. And for five rounds, Ben Askren is going to be the one in danger ben the Askren, whole time. Ben Askren just tries to win off control. He don't try to finish you. He just tries to control you. That's it. But how are you going to control a snake? A, a fucking bow constrictor. That once he gets a grip of anything, it doesn't matter. He's on his... He'll pull guard. Damian That's Maia what I'm saying. Guard. So... What is your game plan going into this fight? And Damian Maia, all right, he's not the best striker in the world. Neither is Ben Askren, bro. You know what Damian Maia can say? He won five rounds with Anderson Silva. Yeah. Anderson Silva beat him and whooped him. He tried to grapple him, but Anderson Silva even respected that ground. So I don't – and and he actually survived the five rounds with Anderson Silva, which is it was hard to say that. And Ben Askren – He beat Masvidal, too. Hmm? He beat Masvidal, too. Oh, oh yeah, he beat Masvidal, uh, yeah, by decision. And we, but see, what, and we, and we see what Masvidal did. Three rounds. Yeah, but, <laughs> but that's the other thing I felt also. I felt like, and I always If it was that, longer? Hmm? You felt like if it was longer, Masvidal would have been able to be Yeah, there. that's how I, I, I always say that. I always feel like if Masvidal has five rounds, he'll figure out the fighter. But I feel like three minutes is never enough for him. That's why I was always saying when I called out the Nate Diaz a while ago, I was saying the same thing. If it has to be a five-round fight because both those fighters... They start up slow and they come easy. Well, I can't say that about Masvidal no more. Neither Nate because he beat Pettis pretty fast. Do he finished Pettis because he knew about how much time he had left. So that fight's going to be interesting and see how that plays out. Yeah, I mean, what is that shit? On? It's just on a fight night that Maya and, Mas- um, Maya and Askren? Yeah. I already know what about that fight. I'm going to watch it for sure, but. I'm going to watch it. I, I, it's a grappling match, and and especially like you're putting two phenomenal grab, uh, grapplers, and I it's feel just like dope I, because you're putting two dudes that are really good at what they do. You feel me? Which both like, are coincidentally stri- um, grappling. Yeah. But but at the same time, we send it, we've seen this time time uh, again. Um, sometimes they cancel each other out, but I feel like if it goes to that aspect that they cancel each other out, Damian Meyer has the upper hand. With striking, you're saying? Yeah. Because remember, Damian Ma has more of a chance. Think about it. Damian Ma will fought, um, fought a couple of people, bro. And like I say, he, had, he has a chance. Like Anderson Silva is the most um, biggest opponent, I think, thus far mm-hmm. that he faced. And look at Tyrone, uh, Tyrone Willie, too. That's what I was going to say. Uh, yeah. I mean, Tyrone Willie. I say Tyrone, my bad. Uh, I'll go for Maya just because he's fought better dudes. Uh, screen ain't really... Oh, um, monster dog. I don't feel like you have to prove <laughs> yourself. Like, you, prove your, you can say whatever record you have outside the UFC, but... He didn't even really fight UFC Masvidal, is where it bro. counts, baby. Huh? He didn't even really fight Monster dog. Uh, he, just, he just took a knee. <laughs> yeah. To the grill. And went to sleep. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, bro, sucks. imagine if he gets caught like that again. Imagine, no, if who, Maya, Damian, <laughs> imagine if Maya just comes out. Ah, bah! <laughs> 
Or like, you remember when War Doom came out to Travis Brown with that fucking Luke Kang King? Jump that like, dang King, that Luke Kang <laughs> shit. Bro, imagine if he tries to do some shit like that. It's going to be so real. If you like these breakdowns, make sure you look at the other videos that I have. And subscribe now to our MMA420 YouTube channel. Now on Instagram at underscore MMA420 underscore. And can't forget, opinions always up for discussion. So don't talk shit.